Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers here in Junction City. I'm Gary Christians, but you know me as the van guy. Yep, I'm back at it. Got great products on the lot. We've got a lot of great inventory. Some new arrivals that just came in. Uh, Travados, I got them. They're coming out of my ears. We're going to do videos today and you're going to see them. Let's take a look at a 59K. You ask, why is it a 59K? Because it's okay. So this is the unit really for two people, but a lot of people can come in here and enjoy the van. Uh, you have your battery disconnect switch here, which I've turned on, which gives you power to the lights. You've got a switch down in here that you can run the electric awning out. Uh, six inches or eight feet, whichever you prefer. But let's, enough of that, let's go back inside. We'll take a look around. We'll start here in the back. This has got a little chain lock here. If you're in doing your, your duty, your shower, you can lock this to make sure that the doors just don't pop open. And if you'll pardon me, it makes it easier to show the nice deep drawers with the positive latches. So you've got a nice, a lot of nice drawer space. Hanging space, don't get alarmed. We've got it right back here. And it's crammed chuck full with all the owner's information, boxes and curtains, shower curtains and stuff. But this is a nice big uh, closet area. Nice heavy duty hinges, positive latch. There's a drain down here on the floor. Yes, and both of these do release. Um, undo these, they slide together and that's on the level. That's a little loose piece here, it needs to be glued up. Medicine cabinet. You do have a nice medicine cabinet. You might even get some of your stuff in here, guys. I don't know, but there might be enough room. Sink. There's the sink. Turn it around. It just drains right down in here. While you're not using it, it's up out of the way. Shower nozzle. Your turn for a shower. Yeah, and you're going to sit on the toilet. You're going to use the hand wand to take a shower, keep all the water down so there's not as big a cleanup. Uh, moving forward, as you see the twin beds have headrests that come up so they're fully adjustable uh, and they go back down on both sides. You have a TV set that comes around, faces the back or the front, and as a bonus it can swing outside so you can look at it on the outside area. Command center is here in the back. Here's your solar charger controller for the solar panel on top. You can add extra solar panels. They're all pre-wired. You just plug them in. Uh, tank levels, energy management system, light switches, uh, your hot water heater, holding tank, heater, USB ports, sensor uh, or LP control valve for on and off. Um, hot water tank heating pads. Now on this new model all the water lines are inside so you don't have to be concerned about the lines freezing because they're all inside your unit where it's nice and warm. So that's another feature that they came out with. The other ones of course we'll see outside. Uh, before you dash away there's an electrical outlet right down here at the end of the counter underneath. Yep got that. Uh, little lights are they're blue uh, for nighttime and white for reading. And these all flip up. Great storage up on top. I know, Gary, but you don't have any storage down below. Well, yeah, we really do. So they have another spot down here for a back cushion, which is this would go down there too to get it out of the way. Or you can bring it up if people want to sit back here, take this big table, put the table legs down, and set a table up here. Yeah, it will make down into a big bed, but it's kind of hard to get up and go to the bathroom because this will all be filled in but you could do that if you wanted to also you notice that it's got all your little this is your mattress you can alter that if you want change the cushion density for your specific needs um, DV entertainment center DVD player stereo system uh, refrigerator there's a latch right here in the top you pull that out and then you've got your freezer on top, your refrigerator down below. And then you have your little wash area. It's got a groove in here to get your handle, hand in, if I can remember. Nice deep sink. It's got all your wash kit in here that comes with it. So you can take it out when you do your dishes. Spread it out in here. You can use this top because it's recessed. 
for your two burner stove. Convection microwave, so you can bake and microwave in here. Uh, you got two more cabinets up here, lots of storage. Storage up on top, these black things are your privacy curtains. And you've got a light right here that you can turn off or dim, whichever you prefer. This seat does turn around, how about that? Now you have this set up. Ah, that's my table, this is my table. I'm a happy guy. And of course, the person over here, they have a nice table too, because that one comes up here, folds down. Everybody's got a little table. There's no leg sticking in here to get in the way. Makes it nice and easy. I know you're going to go outside and eat probably anyway, but you got a place in here if you wanted to come and eat. So I think what we're going to do, uh, we have a fantastic fan up on top. You can see that. We have a digital TV antenna. You can see the LED lights lit up in there. Carbon monoxide detector, smoke detector, propane detector. It's just detectored all out. Okay, this is your screen alert. When you're coming in and out of these vans with me, remember this is the, the grab hole to get in. It says pull here, but it means pull this way. If you pull here, it'll rip the screen out. But this is a nice screen that goes all the way across. Makes it pretty much, keeps all the bugs out, and it's easy to operate to get it to open and close. Full length running boards. Uh, for this particular floor plan. So you got a nice place to get in and out of the unit, both in the passenger side as well as the main entry. Full length awning, comes out six inches or eight feet. It is electric, as I mentioned, inside. So this is your 12 volt cable outlet and 110. So if you wanted to stick a TV out here, you could run it on 12 volts or 110. This is part of some of the new stuff that came out. They revised this bike rack. The bike rack used to stick out clear over here. And more than once, I've knocked myself down with these bike rack. It's kind of a joke around the company. I was doing, telling how to not to do it, and I did it. Anyway, you got a nice bike rack. It folds down, carries two bikes. This is the new ladder system. It goes with a luggage rack. You undo this knob here, this whole luggage rack lifts off and goes over on the side of the vehicle so you can access it for a storage pod, kayaks, or just getting up there to do maintenance. It operates real easy. There's nothing to it. It just rests up there and lifts right off. Um, this is a gasoline operated vehicle, six cylinder front wheel drive. This is a gasoline generator, 2800 watts runs right off your gas tank. It'll stop after a quarter tank, so it won't run you dry. Blackwater flush, caution sign. Says if you're talking with a friend and you turn your water on, that could fill your tank up and then fill the inside of your unit. That's why it says to open up the valve before you turn it on. LED light over here if you're working to give you some light. Dump, uh, sewer dumps down here, easy to get to. This is an exhaust for your heater. Water tank fill, city fill. So if you want to take water with you, you'd put it in here, and if you're just stopping to use the city water, you'd put it in here. Sewer hose right here. LP is easy to get to, 110 shore cord, and cable outlet. It's got a nice entry step running board here for the driver. Regular gasoline, and again, this has got more. It's got great visibility. This has got a 10-foot tighter turning radius than a Mercedes-Benz. It's got better visibility out the window. And the Dodge Pro Ram is the only one that has power mirrors for both the upper and lower mirror for both sides controlled inside. You can switch drivers however you want. You'll be able to adjust the mirrors in a couple minutes. And if you get silly in a tight parking space like this, push a button and these mirrors all fold in. I went through a lot of material. Make it easy, just call the van guy. Call me direct at 541-554-9581. Emails at the bottom if you like that. Appreciate your time, have a good day.